Hello, welcome to Switched On Gaming, Paul speaking, and welcome to a look at a brand new game on the Nintendo Switch. This is Cotton Reboot, and uh, this is a shoot 'em up, comes from Inan Games, and will cost you £34.99, $39.99, and is out today, the 20th of July. I've been enjoying this one for the last few days, so big thanks to the guys for sending me through an early copy. So, this is a horizontal shoot 'em up. Originally released in 1991, we're going to dive straight in with. Uh, I'm going to dive in with the arrange mode, and I will come back and talk about the original mode. So this basically this arrange mode is the rebooted version uh, of the game. It changes quite a lot from the original. Um, updates the graphics and sounds to be a little bit more modern and not quite so pixelated. Although this is one beautiful looking game. But also does change some of the core gameplay mechanics as well. So we're going to go back and have a look at the original version shortly. But this uh, is the reboot version. So you play as a young witch called Cotton. And she has an unhealthy addiction to a magical candy called Willow. And she has a little mystical fairy helper like Will should have. Called Silk. And Silk and her little fairy world are under attack. And she convinces Cotton against Cotton's will, really. But she kind of bribes her with the promise of loads of Willow to come and help the fairy world. And uh, to save them from the evildoers. So at the first kind of mid-level boss now. As you can see, it's kind of a, a bullet hell type game. I'm going to go through this in a little bit more detail. I just wanted to get some gameplay down early on so you can see what this one's all about and how it plays the uh oh crocky the, sc the screen is filling up um collect these crystals the crystals that i'm collecting now are one of the key differences in the original game and this uh what they call the uh attract my version in the original game the crystals will drop to the floor and you have to either collect them from the floor or um, juggle them in the air by shooting them to keep them up in the air. In the reboot version here, they stay floating and you can't shoot them. Another big difference in this version is that you can actually shoot through them, which will power up your shots coming out the other side. You can see I've got sort of a, a basic shot going in and then like this green split laser coming out the other side. The more observant of you will also notice that as you ah, get killed by the massive floating head, uh, as you shoot the crystals, they change colour. Oh dear. We'll uh, just stand the screen quickly. The bottom right hand corner, you can see five, uh, six icons, and that's your magic. That represents six different colours of. Actually, it's five, I think. Five different colours of crystals. We'll go back in and uh, have another go at this one explain it a little bit but basically the crystals when you shoot them they start yellow and then if you shoot them for a little while they go orange and yellow and orange represent gaining xp there's an xp bar down the bottom left hand corner and as you level up that xp bar your shots get stronger any other color gives you magic abilities which you can unleash by pressing the a button and the more of that colour you collect, the more powerful the magic you can uh, unleash. So that may be a good idea to start shooting the crystals to a certain colour of your choosing. They all represent different types of magic. I think the red is dragon magic, the green is bomb magic, something like that. Um, but they're just different levels of magic. And if you keep shooting the crystals in the air, eventually they will turn black. And if you collect a black crystal, it's worth, I think, 100,000 points. And if you shoot it too much after that point, you will destroy it. So you've got to be pretty careful. But as I say, in the original version, these crystals uh, differ in quite a lot of ways. They drop to the floor and they don't do the split or the powered up shots coming out the other side. So that's quite a big change from the original. Usually in these kind of reboot games, you just get, you know, if you're lucky, you get shiny new graphics. Uh, in this 
rebooted version. It's almost like a sequel. We get quite a lot of changes to the original version. Uh, your XP bar is down in the bottom left-hand corner. I mentioned earlier, when you collect the yellow and orange crystals, that goes up and your shot level goes up. And you also, if you look a little bit further along the bottom now, you've got a bomb. You can drop that manually with the B button, although I had to remap the bomb to the B button. I think it's uh, everything mapped to the X button, I think. Which uh, didn't really suit me. But uh, also, when you collect, you can, there's six fairies in each level to collect that sort of fly around you and offer sort of auxiliary support as well. Let's continue. Uh, and they will automatically drop bombs if they uh, if they see targets and they will just randomly they will drop bombs. Oh man, stop getting hit by those meatballs. So when you're at the uh, boss levels here, I've done a great job of it so far. Absolutely awful. You can usually get up to about level three in, uh, in a playthrough. Much harder when you're not concentrating and uh, talking at the same time. Um, let's try and level up some of this magic. Well, uh, once we finish, we'll, we'll, do, we'll try and get past this boss and then um, we'll go back and try the original version and I'll show you how that differs. But one thing that stays the same is a really beautiful artwork. I mean, considering this game's 30 years old, it originally came out in the arcade and the version that's on the. Uh, On the package here is the ah, version from a uh, Japanese computer called the X86000. They had a port of the game and it's absolutely beautiful and that's the version. It's actually apparently quite rare. So it's quite nice for preservation if you're sort of into collecting shoot -em ups Oh, one more though to get past this one. If you're into uh, collecting sort of shoot -em ups and preservation and stuff like that then this is a really really good version to have because that version is by all accounts very rare I should be using my magic here I'm not using my magic enough so with the magic on the uh, left hand or the right hand corner you just get to use the next one that's on the left and it does offer you a few split seconds of invincibility which I should have been using so my next one up will be the green one which is I think is a bomb Bomb type power up. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's kind of destructive. Also, with the magic as well, there's a, a hidden second use of the magic. If you hold down the magic button for a few seconds longer, you get like an extra. Wee, let's click this. You get a, an extra different type of magic that you can use. And this is like a little bonus game at the end of beating the boss. Collect all the little lanterns for loads of points. You wouldn't believe it from watching my playthrough here, but I actually <laughs> scored really high in uh, in my in the days I've been playing this. I only had the code about three or four days, and I got quite a decent score. And I was on the leaderboard. So if you get the game, you'll have to check it out on the leaderboard. But uh, I'm not as bad as uh, as my playthrough here suggests. <laughs> This, I like this level as well with the zombies. This is really cool. We called out a day on that part of it. We'll go back and have a look at some of the other stuff. Let's uh, skip through the continues. So as I mentioned earlier, it has got a high score table online as well, which is really good for chasing your high scores. We'll check that out in a second. But yeah, I am really do like shooting marks. I wouldn't call myself an aficionado or an expert on uh, shoot em ups but I do love them on the Switch. I've got some Japanese ones, some, like Japanese only ones. I've got all sorts of verticals and horizontals and 3D shoot em ups. They're just a real good fun sort of game, especially on the Switch, just to chuck on and you know have sort of uh, either five minutes or half an hour on, you know, and you can come back and just do some score attack. So, normal score here, if I look at my ranking, I might have dropped off, oh there I am, 2006. 2062nd got that the other day because I was quite proud of. I think that got me to about the third level so not awful as I say so this is the uh, x68000 port of the game this is the original as you can see slightly more pixelated but still got great music and it's really colorful shoot them up but just look for those differences as I mentioned as you shoot the crystals, just watch them as they drop down 
to the ground and sort of sit on the floor. And if you want to shoot them, you have to kind of get them up in the air by juggling them, which can be quite difficult. So I'm quite glad in some ways that the the arrange mode version changed that because I think it's quite cool to have them just floating. But later levels, I mean, by the third level, it's hard to tell what was going on on the screen, to be honest, in the uh, arrange mode version. There was just stuff everywhere with all of the uh, crystal stand on the screen as well. But, you know, that's half the fun of it. Some of these, like, bullet hell games, this is what you, what you play for. So I've got a red skill to use, a red bit of magic. That's a dragon. I can unleash that now. And again, it's maybe another thing that the arrange uh, mode does better is, you know, it's a bit more impactful. The magic, you know, it's a bit more oomph behind it, you know. You have a bit more sound effects and a bit more screen shake and stuff like that. It really makes you feel like using it. Ah, oh, done by the laser. Um, the magic here is a little bit flat, but uh, never mind. So we're going to level up, see if we can get a red magic. Yellow, as I say, does your XP bar to get your shots powered up. So my next magic in the bottom of the corner is lightning. So if I collect another blue one, powering it up a little bit. There we go. Probably wasn't the best use of it, but there we go. Ah, da -da -da. I'm sure I've heard that little sound capture before. I'm going to carry on. If you hear that in the background when the uh, cotton dies, she goes like. Da -da -da. I'm sure I've heard that used on either. Oh my word! TV show or something. I've heard that somewhere. It's a really cute little cute cry. We struggled last time, so I think we should be using loads more magic than we were using in our first try of this boss. We'll get that crystal down now. Hit me some more lightning. It's probably what I was doing in my other playthroughs. I wasn't. Ah, I wasn't um, using enough magic. So I need to get these crystals changed into magic pretty quick because I'm going to get the stuff to see if I can get them well it's just XP but it's going to make my shooting stronger at least I need to get that crystal into a red really orange blue yellow come on I need a red one get some dragon magic is that red that was do is red that was red it was orange poor old cotton Hey, there we go. So let me know in the comments below how you feel about shoot 'em ups on the Switch. What have you got? What's your favourite? I might do a little top five, one of my new sort of weekly top fives on the best shoot 'em ups. But there's, you know, there's probably fifty to choose from. That's the problem. But uh, I'll try and give you a good steer on my favourites anyway. So there's our magic collection. But let me know what you think of these graphics as well. The old school 1991 graphics versus the uh, 2021 graphics. As I say, I, I, I like both. I really like the new ones, but all that is a little bit hard to see what's going on sometimes. But also, I think the fact that these graphics are 30 years old is super impressive. And the fact I've got no magic is really depressing. Come on, I need some crystals. I think it's probably easier to get the magic in the... Ah, got trapped then. In the arrange mode version, just pity the fact they're, you know, they stay up and they're easy to get. Much harder to select. These here are bombs, so you restock your bombs and power them up. Oh, cotton, cotton, cotton. I think these clouds are so happy about. Trying to get the crystal. Oh, I've got one more go. Just because I've been so rubbish and you deserve to see more of this one. Oh, come on. 
terrible. Do apologize. Right, red, that'll do. Oh, good flying. Ah, oh, I wasn't rewarded with my good flying skills. Well, I'm gonna stick another 10p in and get my dragon magic. Come on, spooky tree. Keep hitting these dastardly clouds. Must have been great to have been around in the uh, the golden age. I mean, I was you know, not saying I wasn't alive, but I wasn't focused on playing shoot 'em ups on the Saturn. You know, it's great they're having a comeback, and you can sort of pick up a Saturn again or Dreamcast and play some of those classic. Sega shoot much from back in the arcade days. As you can see there, if you notice my oh, death sneaked up behind me. You can see my uh, fairy there dropping bombs, which is helping clear some of the ground targets out. Uh, you get the general idea. I'm sure you're far better at <laughs> shooting ups than I am. So we register our score on the original. Let's have a very quick look around some of the options because it is worth having a look. Uh, there is also a time attack mode, by the way. There's a two minute and a five minute time attack mode that you can play if you just uh, want a quick fixed time to play. Options, you can change the levels, uh, the live, sorry, that you've uh, start with, the levels, the characters you can unlock as you go along. You can just play through all the cutscenes. All the cutscenes are in Japanese, but they are subtitled. Uh, oh, you can change it there actually into a different language. Uh, whether you want to upload your online rankings or not, and uh, play hit display. You've also got controller settings. You can re uh, reassign your controlling options and sound settings. There. You can have the original or the arranged soundtrack. So plenty of options there. So we've shown you the rankings. And the uh, last thing just to have a quick look at is the really good game manual. Just talks you through all of the stuff in the game. Narrated by Cotton and Silk. Tells you all about how the crystals work. And stuff like that. So there you go. So that is Cotton Reboot. That is out today, as I say, on the Nintendo Switch. Really, really good game. Stick it, you know, it's another one to stick in the library of really great shoot 'em up games on the Nintendo Switch. So I really hope you enjoy it. Let me know below if you're going to be picking this one up or what you think of it. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and subscribe if you're new. And I will catch you all on the next one. Cheers, everyone. Bye bye.